Right, we're recording again. Having a look at another uh, train set. But this time we're having a look at a more modern one. How could we put it in? Well, sort of modern, sort of not. This set came out in 2007. That's why I have Hornby Row Hornby's 2007 catalogue in front of me. And the loco depicted on the front, I have as well. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see that video in due course. Yes, I, I purchased that loco there, Plymouth. Uh, Battle of Britain. No, West Country. It's a West Country class. Um, in 2007. So, yeah, like I said, I have a lot of models that I collected throughout the years and... They haven't really. They haven't been on camera, so I can't wait to bring that to you guys. Um, that would be done on uh, obviously film with the camcorder and cameras and all the other equipment, and going through the editing software. <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit of a tickle. <coughs> right, what we are looking at today is a is a train set. I do have quite a lot of products from this year. Yes, I'm going to uh, make an admittance. I do own that when it first came out in 2004, 3, 2004. That period, I purchased that. And I have another, yeah, I have Flying Scotsman too. So, you have to wait for those videos and I will make them. If you really would like to see the live Steam set... Please let me know in the comments down below. <clears throat> and I'll see what we can do. I do own a few Life Steam. There's something I got when, when it came out. It is a... It is a, a considerable purchase. Back in the time, obviously, it was a, a, a lot of money. But if they were to sell it again, it would probably be in thousands. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm glad I got it when I did anyway. Right. Train sets. The set we are looking at today is the Goodsmaster Diesel Freight set. And it was new in 2007. Obviously, I didn't purchase this in 2007. I've. When did I purchase it? I think it was during. 2019, 2020, that period. It was uh, the re the reasons behind this purchase was a bit of fun for my daughter, basically, and obviously it'll be passed down to her. It'll be forming part of her collection when she's old enough, and when she's all, you know, when she's okay with it. Uh, I'll that's the reasons behind this it's a bit of fun it's got a basic overall very basic overall looper track um i see a reasonable rake of uh goods rolling stock yes and uh hornby mid track map so hopefully let's have a look let's have a look anyway Catalog aside. Right, let's bring the set on. Is it? Yeah, we could fit it in shot. <laughs> oh, look at it. It is a bit worn at the sides. It's, it's been around for during the noughties, you know, two, early 2000s, 2007 onwards. So. It is another reason behind the purchase of this set is again I had a friend when I was young he had a similar set I, I, I own that I do have the original loco and the rolling stock and everything that came with it but I don't have the box I don't know um, what the R number is and I don't know who sold it I, my suspicions it was uh, a 
catalogue store, Argos or Index or somewhere like that. Because it had this 06 shunter, so it had been made in uh, Margate. Around in the 80s, mid 80s period it came out. And it had um, this 06 shunter. It had a Texaco oil tanker, a Shell oil tanker. Uh, it had a Best Woods truck. And it had balls over um, mineral wagon. You, I'll show you this in another video. And a brake van which had a white roof. And an overall of track. I think it compromised the first radius. And obviously the basic controller that I've shown you in the 1990s sets. Um, I don't know... The R number. I've been trying to look through uh, Pat Hammond's um, books. Obviously, I got them, and I still can't try and I can't find it. I need to try and track it down, and find out where it comes from, and all the details about it. But I do have that, and that obviously we played that when we were young with my friend, and we used to mess around with it and. Yeah, we used to make tunnels and all sorts <laughs> back in the day. Right. So, yeah, that's a, it's a bit of nostalgia for me because it brings back childhood memories. And I've seen other YouTubers do videos on this set. And I felt that I wanted one on my own. So I, I got it. I just pulled the... Yeah, there's the box. Oh. Sorry for knocking the tripod. And obviously this is showing you on the back of the box how you could extend the uh, track map and extend the track. So basically you come out with a, I don't know, that's a different loop to the, the big one there. And obviously all the accessories at home we do. This is basic just to get you started. Younger modellers would, would like this. Recommended for the younger modeller. But it gets you started. That's the whole idea of these sets. Right. We'll lift it up. Obviously this has been used. It's had a previous life and a previous owner. Um, track mat and instructions. Uh, leaflet pack. Let's have a look what we get inside. I think I might set it up on the track mat. <laughs> Just for a little bit of fun. Why not? It's included. It gives you an idea anyway. My layout was based on a mat, but it was a Lima a Lima track mat and obviously there that's that's what we used it's a long yeah I've got photos I'll show you in due course right what else do we get inside so I'll sellotape I don't want that sticking to anything Let's fold it around so it doesn't damage anything right <clears throat> Locomotive operation and maintenance for an 040 locomotive with a HP motor. I call these a can motor. Okay, they're rather basic. You probably see them in Scalectrix models. And the instructions are rather generic because they house the same type of motor. So these are other 040s in the Hormi range and obviously there is the one that we're looking at. In actual fact, there is a video I made quite a while ago with the editing and all that, um, a, with a similar variant, a railroad model it was in, that I purchased. So yeah, if you'd like to see that, check out my previous videos. And then there's the cam motor itself. It's rather basic. 
and an oil in points and a bit about keeping the track clean, locomotive body work and television suppression. Something that's, I say, this, this when I was younger, I used to, when I used to run my lout, it used to interfere with my uh, parents' telly. Yes. <laughs> Something you don't really get much because much anymore because obviously technology's moved on. So there's that. Oh right, I didn't. Oh, I didn't realise that. Service dealers in the early noughties. Oh right. Ah, I didn't realise that they include. Oh, I completely forgotten. Uh, Alton, yeah, Hampshire and the Isle of Wight. I'm in, in Hampshire and Surrey. And some of those model shops are still there, not all of them. Just having a quick look. Some of them are still there, but not all of them. Where is Surrey? Surrey? Hello, I'm from Surrey. Sorry, um, yeah, I, I live, I do live quite close to Surrey, so I do pop into uh, model shops in Surrey. Yeah, I think a lot of them, uh, a lot of them are gone. Mm, interesting. I'm just, uh, I just forgot about this. I didn't realise that they did it in the early noughties. <laughs> oh yeah and obviously I have a few of these in other sets I have from this period another set I have done a video on is the um, Orient Express please check out that video obviously I made it a few years ago yeah this is the controller I, I, I like I prefer this controller and power clip and everything where everything goes baseboard construction nailing the track and uh, tension lock couplers and uh, uh, a generic yeah, this this is for the Eurostar because it shares a bogey yeah this is an older point of connecting loco and tenders, or is it a tender drive? Uncoupling ramps, yeah, the the, the the different uncoupling ramps you get. It just it just br uh, brings you into the world. It gives you some information about points and everything. So it is it? I do like this. It's nice that Hornby of uh, included it, caring for your Hornby train set. So it's an owner's manual. It is, and basically building up a layout. So it's, it's a progression. It's a system. That's what Hornby do. And Hornby, in my opinion, do it very well. That's what they're renowned for, getting uh, people into the hobby. Other manufacturers also suggest <laughs> starting with Hornby train set. I have heard that, and I've heard them say that, and I've, you know, with myself as well, I've spoken to other manufacturers and they say to start off, and you're young, warranty, registration card and everything else, yes, oh yeah, and this is another thing, <laughs> this would be the range, the 2007 range, or whenever this set was made, which I didn't see a date, there. so I don't know what range this is and there's quite a lot of uh, products on here that I already own in my collection spinner around yeah <laughs> wow <laughs> it's even bigger than this now so 
I can't even really fit in the shot. Really difficult. Yes, I, I, I think this is at 2004. 2000, maybe, no, it can't be. What year would this be? It must be 2007. 2007, 2008, because the um, Plymouth model's up there. I'm not too sure anyway. But yes, it was nice to have. And obviously, I've got quite a lot of the products on there. Not all of it, some of it. Right. What do you get inside the set? Obviously, you know about this controller. Um... Production moved over to China, and this is a Chinese-made controller, and it's quite the same as the ones made in Margate. But yes, I I I, I prefer Hornby's basic as Hornby's basic controller goes. This one was, was by far for for me the best. I don't really like the other ones. The, the, I've shown you a few in the modern sets. Without further ado, let's actually no, let's just talk about the track. Nickel silver track, and this is yeah, R609. So this is a third radius. During this period of time, Hornby did in uh give you um oh, really struggling to focus. The R609 Hornby made in China, nickel silver track, and this third radius. R609 is a third, and that's even more gentle. <laughs> yes, and there are two um, R600s, one with a power connecting terminal. So it hasn't got a power clip. This one's got a, a power connecting terminal. You push down the buttons and put the, sl uh, the controller slot in. Right, let's have a look at the loco. It is rather basic. And there she is. Yeah. I've obviously put the um, vacuum pipes on there already, as you can see. And this one, um, the railroad range didn't uh, include uh, Barclay on the front. Um, it was blanked off. And uh, the colour was slightly different. So this, this one uh, reminds... This one depicts the uh, original Margate one better with the colour and everything else. I think my Margate one had a black roof, if I remember correctly. I have got it, so you will see that in another video because it's... The original one from my friend that used to live up, live next, well, he used to live up the road from me, so. And he obviously uh, sold it to me and I, I kept it, so. Yes. And there she is, it's rather basic. Oh. Excuse me a minute. No. No, we're alright. I thought I was going to sneeze. Oh my! <laughs> oh, I'm being silly. Um, yes, let's have a look at this wagon. Some of the wagons, are, yeah, metal wheels. Look at that. That's another good thing with the production in China, getting metal wheels. And this one has an operating. I don't know if I can demonstrate that. The operating tippler. So you, there is a an accessory where you can fill this up with uh, like coal, and then it tips. Yeah. So yeah, that's included in the set. Yeah. Um. Here we go. An ore wagon. 
Now, I'm missing a coupling on there. Obviously, uh, this this is been round, you know, it's been used. Ah, oh, yeah. And there we are. I swear, that, yeah. A set I looked from the 90s had this same wagon. Crook and Greenway, yeah. But this is, obviously, this wagon's... Uh, how many planks? One, two, one, two, three, four plank. Because the other one was seven plank back in the... There's a train set, mixed... GWR mixed traffic train set. I swear that this has the same um, decoration on it. But it's on a seven plank. Rather nice. Metal wheels. Yes. And obviously the decorations obviously improved from, from the 90s. Oh, that one of the couplings have come off. I'm gonna have to reattach that. I'll do that off camera. It's off of that. And there's the brake van. Yeah, a metal. Uh, so a bit more, a bit more detail on on these uh, Chinese-made models, obviously. But still, you know, they're still rather basic, and and it gets you in this, into the into the hobby. I highly recommend it. Yes. Right. There's only one thing for it. Let's set this up and uh, see how we go. I don't know. Do you want? Uh, I might show me setting up. Right. Excuse me. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you can see me very well because obviously the camera is facing the other way. I have done this before in previous videos. Bit of fun. Right. Uh, I That's what it's designed to do, isn't it? So it comes with a set, so I might as well use it. Let me check where it is in the shop. I need to move it over. <clears throat> Got a power clip. But I left in another set. I'll move the camera over once I've laid the track out. That's what I'm going to do now. So excuse me if you see me in front of the camera, hello. <laughs> it's a bit of fun, isn't it? You know? You've got to have fun. And it's recommended for your youngsters who want to get into this hobby. Yeah, I do recommend this set. So, where should we go? I think this uses the Dirt track, I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, wait, where we go? No, I think it goes on that. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's third radius, isn't it? So you get me see me connecting the track up and like I say always when you connect the track up put your finger over over the rails I think yeah I think I know what I've done if I went that way he uses the dirt track if I remember correctly uh, power, I'm going to have this side because the socket is over there. <clears throat> okay. 
can use other sockets, but Clip it together. Yeah, it goes on all this uh, track that's depicted on here and then uses the dirt track. Right, let's get that connected in there. No, I haven't got that fish plate. That fish plate is in place. It'll probably move once the, the train starts running over it. Right, track is in. Let's get the controller. And again, excuse me. Get the controller out of the box with the wires. Plug the transformer in. Robot in disguise. <laughs> oh dear. Another thing from the uh, 80s. Uh, and then push the pins down and push the power clip in. It is rather basic. That is at zero. Put the controller there, turn the power on. So now it's in uh, neutral at the moment. Right, locomotive. Uh, which way should we travel? I think we travel this way. Right. Let's see her go. Yeah, it's on, that's on. Oh, there she goes. Let's warm her up for a little bit. It's a pocket rocket, by the way. You can go a lot faster than that. Let me move. Yeah, there we go. A bit of light. She is warming up slightly. Yeah. Right. One thing for it, let's put some of the rolling stock on. You get the rolling stock. Let her warm up while I'm playing around with the rolling stock. Yeah, where are we? Right. I think she has warmed up. Excuse me for getting all shot. The ground. And there's the rolling stock. Slow it down. Oh. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rolling stock in the consist that is on the box. So it's Adler and Allen wagon first. And then it is this um, ore wagon. And got that on. And then next it's the Crooken Greenway. 
And then next is the brake fan. There you are. I'm used to putting, it's a short wheelbase, so I don't need to get down close. So they're quite easy to put on, on the rails. Right, let's uh, reverse the loco and get it to couple up. She's not a really great caller for a shunting loco. I've got her, but it's a bit of fun. That's, that's what this is. And there we go. Let's go. Let her run around the loop. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, rather basic, but it starts you off. Yes. Let me get the camera a bit lower down. So. Excuse me, I'll alter the camera. And there we go. Yeah. A rather basic uh, set, but it's aimed at the beginner. And obviously, I'm going to be passing it to my daughter. So, yes. It looks rather impressive. And obviously, as you can see on the track, track map plan, you can extend this if you want this is yeah, I think that's what it is is this is the mid track map and there's another one that has um, another as a bit more track on it I think but this is a mid track map but yes rather impressive um, please check out my channel for more videos and uh, Hope you're enjoying everything. Um, obviously, we're gonna be um, doing a lot more uh, videos in the editing suite. So I'm just tying over some of these so I can bring some content to you straight away without having to worry about going for the editing. So I've got something in the in the can, as it were, for me to upload. So yes, please look out for more videos and uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and yeah, please comment down below. Thank you peeps. I'll see you guys in the next video.